Hey guys, and welcome back to the channel today. We are talking about greed is good, and I know a lot of people are probably sitting here thinking, oh no, Dylan's gone to the dark side after his falling out with Dark and Darker. Yes, I have, I have succumbed to my dark desires and I have switched sides now. But in all actuality, let's be serious. I think what had happened with Dark and Darker was going to eventually happen. This is something I predicted a really, really long time ago, and this doesn't have anything to do with videos on YouTube or anything that you've heard me say in my videos. That was something I was saying back when I very first played Dark and Darker. I felt like Dark and Darker was an amazing game way early on, but I definitely said that it was going to be one of those games that as time goes on, it's going to progressively get worse. And people can agree or disagree. I feel like it's personally gotten worse. I don't see eye to eye with the developers of Iron Mace. It's quite funny. I've actually had one of them reach out to me since all this stuff has happened. And there was more accusations thrown my way. And there was just a lot of stuff that was said by this specific developer to me that just really drove home that I'm making the right decision by moving on. So without further ado, here we are, we're on Greed is Good. I know a lot of people have probably mixed feelings about this game, and that's totally fine, but let's go ahead and talk about the positives and the negatives of it, okay? So let's start with the negatives. I think that's a good way to do that. And just, just to get that out there, you know, I'm not reading off any kind of script. I'm just going off the top of my head, so if I miss some things or I get something wrong, that's probably why. But I thought it would just be more genuine to just kind of speak right off the top of my head rather than trying to uh, get some stuff together about the game. Because this is more of a first impressions more than anything. Um, first and foremost, I think I would say the first negative is that some of the mob animations are a bit wonky in my opinion but in comparison to dark and darker i mean this is really not even that big of an issue uh, i think this is more of something that you'll have to get used to because i mean when people first play dark and darker and they see the way mobs attack it's honestly pretty wonky so i think this is not so much a negative it's just one thing that i think i'm probably gonna have to adjust to what's another negative of the game well in the previous play test of greed is good there was a significant issue with people cheating. Now, again, every time I'm gonna make these negative and pos uh, positive comparisons uh, to Dark and Darker, I'm doing that because they are direct competitors, so there's a reason for it. Now, a lot of people might think that Dark and Darker doesn't have as many cheaters, but you'd be very wrong. I think Dark and Darker probably has more people cheating in it, and it's actually a worse issue because there are more highly developed cheats for that game to the point that you can basically fly damage hack just do basically anything you want the worst i have seen on greed is good is somebody that was invisible and you couldn't see them and they could kill you that's about as bad as it has gotten uh, another negative is that i don't really care for the ui of the game now this is just a guess but this is a very educated guess. I think we can all tell that this is actually Nexon's game, even if Nexon's name isn't on it. Now, again, I could be totally wrong, but Nexon likes to design their UIs like this. You can go play one of their most recent games that came out, Warhaven, and the UI is literally almost one-to-one -one in the way it's designed. It is almost exactly designed the exact same way. Another negative that I don't really care for is that the characters that you can play, they are gender locked, but they are also named. So you don't necessarily play classes, but you rather play characters. Not a big deal, but I would really prefer if they just didn't gender lock things. This is just for customization reasons. Just allow us to make our characters the class and gender that we want them to be. You know, I think that would just honestly be the best way to go about this kind of stuff. It also looks like YouTube is um, giving me some issues right now due to ad block. So my music is stalling. So I apologize for that. <laughs> uh, 
But yeah, that's another negative is like, I don't like the gender lock classes. I wish we could just make our characters design them how we want, what gender and what class we want to be. But so far as we can tell, we've got tank, which is basically the equivalent of the fighter in Dark and Darker. We've got mage, which is equivalent of the mage in Dark and Darker, as you might expect. We've got assassin, which is the equivalent of the rogue. Archer, which is the equivalent of a ranger. Warrior, which is the equivalent of a barbarian. Support is the equivalent of cleric. And then we have mage again. Now, the thing that is interesting between these two mage characters is that one focuses on burst and DPS. So this one uses fire magic. And it also has a blink, whereas the other one uses ice and has CC abilities and defenses. So you have like a high bursty DPS mage and then you have like a defensive CCing kind of mage, right? You can tell them apart by their hair color, you know, red, red for fire and white or silver for ice. But pretty decent class selection. I've been playing the fighter and the barbarian. I'm just going to call them that because it's just easier. Um, but I mostly have been playing the Barbarian more. I really like the way the Barbarian plays. It's really enjoyable. Um, it's got its own stash system as well, just like Dark and Darker. It also looks like we're going to have multiple tabs too, and we can expand it for gold, which already is a huge quality of life improvement. I think this is already way better than Dark and Darker, that we can name our stashes as well. Just huge improvement immediately right there. The merchants, you know, we've got our weaponsmith, armor, the alchemist, the grocer. The grocer is basically the equivalent of the uh, the guy that you would sell your valuables to. I can't think of his name off the top of my head right now. I never really paid attention to the names, but this is basically where you sell all your like looted items. This is where you're going to generate most of your gold. And then you have the Sly Merchant. The Sly Merchant is kind of like the Goblin Merchant in Dark and Darker. Um, I've not bothered with this yet, so I don't know how good this is. But uh, once I get that information, I'll try to get that out to you guys in another video. And then obviously, I think the best thing in my opinion that we have here is the trading. The trading is an auction house. It's not a live chat. Finally, somebody gets it right. Now, I think the UI could have some more love. But honestly, I think this is fine. I think this is fine for the way it is right now. It's pretty straightforward. It's an auction house, so you don't have to sit here and deal with people spamming for an hour straight about the same item. And then you have to wonder if you're getting scammed or if you're getting a good deal, whatever it might be. You know, I actually saw a video recently, didn't watch it because I didn't want to give it the views or the attention, but apparently somebody has made a script or some kind of program that actually auto sells items for you in dark and darker how ridiculous is that guys greed is good i think has got it right with the auction house i think this is a superb addition to a game like this i mean seriously like it's awesome it's absolutely awesome so obviously you can also sell your stuff here Ordering, I guess this is going to have something to do with filling buy orders where people can put up items and say like, I want 10 bandages for X amount of gold, fill it in this way. Or your sell orders, you can put up your own. Um, I'm not sure what available order is going to be. Probably, um, this is probably where you're going to actually make the orders and then ordering is where you're going to actually purchase or uh, fill in orders or have your orders filled in. Um, you've obviously got your leaderboards too. Um, they've got gold, escapes kills and boss kills they've also got something for like some undead spider queen i guess that's a different map not too sure um not too familiar with the uh with the leaderboards at all so but you know it's all there like everything that you expect in dark and darker is here obviously if we go look at our character we can go look at our equip screen you've got a helmet Primary weapon one, primary weapon two, a neck, two ring slots, a chest, gloves, boots, and pants. So no cape, it looks like, and dark and darker. But you got everything else here. 
then obviously you've got your skills as well so you have active skills so your active skills are going to be the ones that you have uh, equipped to your keybinds your q and e or whatever you've got set up personally and then you're going to have your passive skills so i would I, I would run through these and show you all these i think i'm going to reserve that for another video to make sure that this video is not super long um but overall you know you've got a friends list in game already that is uh tied to your steam so i'm really happy about that they've even got a announcement system that automatically sends you stuff and it's on ui i think that's so great the options are really expansive you basically got everything that you need you even got third person in this game by the way so that's another interesting thing that is different from dark and darker that might be a reason why you might not like this game but it is there uh but yeah guys like it's this is its second play test um the game's not perfect right this isn't me fanboying about greed is good because i don't like dark and darker anymore but i think people who were trying to say that this game is not going to be able to compete with dark and darker i think they're absolutely crazy i think this game has everything it needs to compete and if you go in and you look and you play this game you're gonna obviously notice that there are a lot of similarities uh, between uh, the names of items and animations and stuff like that and it just goes to show guys i think that just more than confirms that this is obviously a nexon studio game whether their name's on it or not because the old battle axe animation is even here in this game so that tells me more than i need to know already but yeah guys you know it's free it's going to be free on release um, i'm not exactly sure how they're going to be handling monetization and all that but I highly recommend you guys go and download it and try it out. I mean, what's the worst that could happen? You don't like it, you go back to playing Dark and Darker. So that's kind of my analysis on the game, guys. I think it's a pretty decent game. I might get some more videos out about the classes and the skills, get some gameplay in to show you guys kind of what it's like, all that good stuff. But regardless, thank you for watching and have a wonderful rest of the day.